Welcome to Mettler Toledo's how-to video series on thermal analysis data reporting and documentation. In part one, we will show you how to use plot design features in Star E software. When it comes to presenting data, nothing is more effective than a well-designed table or graph. Part one of this series provides an overview of Star E software's extensive plot design features, which offer the flexibility to customize every detail of your thermal analysis result curves and evaluations. The measured curves and numerical evaluations can also be incorporated into an attractive and professional report template. Star E Software's flexible and easy to use layout tools allow you to produce attractive, publication ready plots. In this video, we show you how to use plot design features in Star E Software. To begin, open the evaluation window in Star E Software and select an existing curve or evaluation. Don't forget to save the evaluation frequently to avoid loss of changes. To define the coordinate system, select Open Curve and under Open Curve Settings, click on Coordinate System. A dialog box will appear with various options for displaying the coordinate system. Configure the coordinate system by selecting the configuration icon under the Home tab. A dialog box will appear where you can Define a linear or logarithmic scale. Define major or minor grids and set axis limits. Checking the automatic scaling box will automatically disable the upper and lower limit fields. Evaluations with multiple curves can be assigned separate coordinate systems. To do this, simply select one of the curves, right click, and from the drop down menu, click on Move to New Coordinates. It is often useful to compare results from different evaluations by displaying them side by side. Another useful feature in Star E software allows you to include existing curves in an open evaluation. The procedure for this is simple. Go to the File tab and click the Include icon in the Evaluation group. From the drop-down menu, you can select where you would like the existing evaluation to be included. For example, left, right, above, or below. After selecting the position, a dialog box opens with a list of evaluations stored in the database. Select the desired evaluation to be displayed in the specified position and click Open. Multiple curves displayed in the same evaluation window can be positioned vertically or in a grid, and their order easily switched using the coordinate functions found under the Home tab. To display the curves vertically, click Arrange Vertically. To display in a grid, click Arrange in Grid. A dialog box will appear where you can define the number of rows and columns. After clicking OK, the evaluations will be arranged accordingly. The Switch option allows you to determine the order in which the curves are plotted in the evaluation window. First, select the coordinate systems you would like to move and click Switch under the Home tab. If the coordinate systems are arranged in a grid pattern, their positions get rotated in a clockwise direction. You can also crop a specific area of the curve, for example, to highlight an effect. Open the same curve in a different coordinate system and arrange these curves vertically. Now, in one of the curves, draw a frame around the area of interest. Then, under the tab Math, select the Cut to Frame icon. Select the original curve and click on Position with Frame. Draw a smaller frame and select the cropped curve with Control tab. Click on Position with Frame. The cropped section of the curve is shown in the smaller frame. To rescale the cropped section, go to View under the Home tab and click Automatic Scaling or press Alt plus A. The selected section of the curve is now displayed in separate coordinate system. Several colors, line styles, and fonts are available to help improve the presentation of results. These formatted options can be accessed under the Home tab or by right-clicking on the selected curve or text. The current preference settings can be saved in your user profile by clicking Save under the Settings tab. To restore the previous settings, click Restore. To improve the appearance and readability of results, 
you can change the position and alignment of text in the evaluation window. First, draw a frame where you would like the text to be positioned. Then, select the text you would like to move to that area. Then, click on the Align Left or Align Top icon in the Edit field according to your preference. To align all texts in the same way, click Select All Texts before clicking on either one of the alignment options. All texts in the evaluation are now aligned correctly. If the position for text is not specified by a frame, then the text will be aligned at the top or left of the evaluation. Axis labels and their positions can be customized using the function Edit Axis Labels. Select either the Y axis or X axis. Right click and from the drop down menu, select Edit Axis Label. Alternatively, this option can also be selected from the Home tab under the Coordinates group. The Edit Axis Label dialog box will appear. Enter the desired label in the text field and click OK. To include the unit of the quantity on the axis, insert the characters U at the desired place in the text. If not specified, the unit will be added at the end of the label. The desired label position and orientation can be selected from the drop down list. Once properly laid out using the editing functions, your STAR E evaluation is ready to be exported or printed. First, define which plot labels should be included in the final plot diagram or printout. Under Settings, click Define Plot Labels. The Define Plot Labels dialog box will appear with a list of labels and different positioning options. Add the labels you would like to include by inserting their corresponding symbols into the desired text field. For example, top left or top right. Multiple symbols can be included in the same text field. Then click OK. The appearance of your final evaluation can be viewed by selecting Plot Preview under the File tab. The Plot Settings dialog box will appear. To limit the amount of text in the plot area, you can move some important information to a legend. For this, select the method and experimental data you would like to move to a legend and check the Show Legend box. Once you have defined all the plot settings, click OK. The desired printing style and fonts can be defined under Settings in the Install window. Under the Home tab in the Install window, select Print Plot Configuration. Here, you can define the paper margin for printing and fonts used for headers and footers. You can export your plots in many different formats, such as Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint. Curve values and or results can also be exported to a tabular text format, which is often used for further processing in other software. Files can be exported either to the user's local hard disk, an external device, or over a network. To start exporting the curve or evaluation, under File tab, go to the Import Export group and click on Export Other Formats. The dialog box, Export Text, Graphic, or ASCII format will appear. Select the folder to which you wish to export the file. The file name for export will be automatically suggested or type in the desired name. Select the type of file to be exported in Save as Type. The available formats are dot txt ascii dot emf dot jdx dot png and dot tif if selecting text format for export the settings defined under print export are applicable click save to complete the export if dot tif format is selected a bitmap width dialog box will appear Enter the desired width of the bitmap here. This setting can be saved by clicking Save Settings. After clicking on Save, the data or graphic in the current evaluation window is exported and saved in the specified file in a .tif format. One can export the evaluation in image format by selecting Windows Enhanced Metafile. The evaluation will be exported as an .emf file. This format enables graphical changes to be made, 
even after export. This concludes our video on how to present thermal analysis data in a plot using design features in the STAR E software. The procedures for customizing existing report templates or creating new report templates from scratch are covered in parts two and three of this video series. Thank you for watching. For more thermal analysis related how to videos, please go to www.mt.com slash TA dash news www.mt.com slash TA dash videos.